Hi everyone, today we are going to do the daily challenge on uh, in the lead code. So this program is kind of square sub matrix with all ones. So basically you will get a 2D input matrix and then uh it, which is a 2D array essentially. So basically you want to find like how many squares inside that 2D input. So and then this square will be coding all the elements will be one so one integer one element by itself is one by one square is equal to one so we can see there's ten ones so it's that there's ten squares and then there are four squares of side two means a square with all ones that's two by two we can find one two three four and then a three by three so which I result will be fifteen so in this video we are going to do a proof first approach to find all the result so basically first we need to create an integer which holding the count of the square inside the 2d array and then we will do a loop to loop through the entire input so the outer loop is equal to the window size so we will do off and do a loop to check different kind of different size of window for for starting point to the end of the loop so and then we will do an inner loop to loop through the matrix minus i so for this our window will now go beyond the border so which we will not get index of one error so let's loop the y so inside here we also need to check the if that window contain all ones uh, if it contain all ones we will add the count to the result otherwise uh, we will not we will add zero uh, if it contain all ones we will add one so ma to make the code look cleaner we will do a function call here and then we will create a private method called check square. So check square will take the wind the entire a uh, 2D map wind trick. 2D input matrix. And then take the value of the starting point and also the window size. And then we will loop this window to see if the window contain all ones. So since our window is starting from zero, uh, we will do uh, less than or equal to here. Otherwise, you need to uh, from here you also need to subtract one to match the indexes. So basically, you either um, change here or you either change here. Either way, you can do it. So here we also do a nasty loop to loop the entire windows. So inside the loop we will check if the matrix element at the index is equal equal zero if it equal zero we will return zero because it is not square otherwise we will return one at the end so in here we will do result plus equal check square So in here we will pass the matrix and then pass the i, j, or oh, x, y here, x, y, which indicate the index of the first element of the square, and then we will pass the window size at this at this run. So after we finished 
loop through all the cases. We will return result. And let's run the base cases. Uh. Oh, I made a typo. <laughs> typo again, <laughs> sorry. I need to subtract the, uh, the window size for each of the of the x and y, which indicate the row and the column. Otherwise, we can index off bar. <laughs> so finally, uh, we reach the result, and then we submit to test all the cases. So here is the submission result, and it gets accepted. And then for the brute force uh, approach, the runtime will be very slow, so you can test it by yourself. And then actually this problem can be done using dynamic programming, so um, that will be in the next video. Thank you. If you like the video, um, please give a like and subscribe.